Hey, Dr. Anonymous here. Um, just want to share some thoughts with regards to this stimulus bill that was uh, passed through the Senate earlier today and how it relates to health care. And if you are a doctor working in the U.S. healthcare system, and you haven't heard of this story yet, you must listen to this because this is very important. Everyone has been talking about socialized medicine, you know, and it is coming. Um, there's a couple of stories that have been flying around Twitter, especially those people in the medical bloggers and podcasters out there have been talking about this. If you have not heard about this, then uh, this is very important for you. I'm going to reference uh, two stories here, which you may or may not have heard of in the past two days. Uh, the first story is from uh, Bloomberg.com, and it is from uh, Betsy Makahi. I hope I pronounced that right. <clears throat> and uh, the title of her commentary is called uh, Ruin Your Health with the Obama Stimulus Plan. So she's basically uh, talking about, you know, the the Senate part of the bill and uh, the second part, the second um, uh, article I'm going to talk about. It's talked a little bit about the House portion of the bill. Uh, so do the do the words or the terms National Coordinator of Health Information Technology sound familiar? or the Federal Coordinating Council for Comparative Effectiveness Research. Does that sound familiar to you? Well, in the next 10 days or so, as this bill is in the uh, conference committee, um, definitely have to pay attention to these terms because it's very important. In this uh, um, uh, Bloomberg uh, article, they uh, describe that uh, um, that this bill um, has provisions where medical treatments will be tracked uh, electronically by a federal system, having electronic medical records at your fingertips, um, easily transferred to a hospital, and of course that's beneficial. And it will also um, help avoid uh, duplicate tests and errors, and I'm quoting from the article here, and it says that this bill goes further, it creates um, another layer or another bureaucracy in the federal government, which is called the National Coordinator of Health Information Technology. Now, what is this person supposed to do? This person will monitor treatments to make sure your doctor is doing what the federal government the federal government deems appropriate and cost effective let me read that again the national coordinator of health information technology will monitor treatments to make sure your doctor is doing what the federal government deems appropriate and cost effective yes yes that is what is in this bill and uh, there have been rummagings about this that the uh, the house bill language is even more uh, strict than this and that the senate language is not as strict um, there's I haven't been paying attention to all of the amendments and things, but that is what I've been hearing and reading and things. So um, now, how is this? How are they going to do this? Um, they're going to do this with the Federal Coordinating Council for Comparative Effectiveness Research, with government research. Uh, and uh, at this point, I'm going to switch to the second article that I've been um, reading today or been getting a lot of references to. It's from the Wall Street Journal from February 9. The author is Alicia Mundy. And the title of the article is uh, Drug Makers Fight Stimulus Provision. And I'll have links, links to this 
um, along with this video and, and, and uh, on my blog. So this research that they're talking about, this uh, effectiveness research is $1.1 billion dollars in research funding that will be doled out to the National Institutes of Health and other government government bodies. So obviously, what people are concerned about is that uh, the article goes on to say that this will be a slippery slope where government ends up axing useful treatments because they cost too much. So it is government really getting in the face of doctors and of medical treatment for the sake of cost cutting. So they'll, you know, prevent maybe, you know, treatments or if they're too expensive for even being done. Now there's a coalition, the article says, there's a coalition called the Partnership to Improve Patient Care, including lobbying arms of drunk companies and biotech industries, as well as patient advocacy groups and medical professional societies. So there is mounting opposition to this uh, uh, government, essentially a takeover of uh, of medicine with these um, national coordinator of health information technology and these this effectiveness research this federal coordinating council for comparative effectiveness research now um, um, as everybody knows or if maybe you don't know you know that this bill passed the house and it passed in um, not the exact same format as it you know, as through the Senate. So now it goes to a House and Senate conference committee, which is behind closed doors. And uh, the next seven to ten days, or even five to ten days, are very important for you, especially if you're a physician out there, to figure out and learn what is going on with this conference committee and how it's going to affect health care. So, so those are just some of the terms, you know, that, uh, that I wanted everybody to be aware of because, you know, a lot of, not a lot of people are talking about that. I mean, of course, the people that follow this every day, the medical bloggers and podcasters, they've been kind of following this already. But if you haven't, um, especially in the next you know, week or so, as this thing unfolds every day, as you hear the news reports, try to dig down deeper in there as far as the health care portions of this bill. So, uh, and obviously, if you don't like it, <laughs> then you know, there are avenues to, to communicate to the people up in Congress to, to let uh, people know how you feel about this. So this is very important. Um, this is not something that's talked about in the news, uh, but uh, this is uh, something that, uh, um, that you should definitely uh, be aware of. So I welcome your comments um, for the blog, um, and um, you can always uh, check me out at uh, dranonymous.com. I may talk about this a little bit during my Saturday show, The Night Shift with Dr. A, which will be 9 p.m. Eastern Time, Valentine's Day night uh, on Block Talk Radio, 9 p.m. Eastern. And uh, um, I hope, especially docs, um, start talking about this and um, you know, letting people know what this health care provision in this bill is because I think it's very important very important, very important for people to know about and to, to spread the word about. So um, I hope this was helpful to everybody, and uh, I will talk to everybody soon. Check me out on DrAnonymous.com.